impact. And you can appreciate it on various levels. We're, we're, we have tape of you doing the Hendrix, your version of Hendrix anthem. What are you up to there? <laughs> session with the, the electric guitar, <laughs> trying to recreate that on the cello. I, that's when I discovered Hendrix's Star Spangled Banner. And I always wanted an opportunity to uh, transcribe that for, for solo cello. And uh, CBGB was the perfect venue, I thought, for something like that. And uh, I, I, I thought this was a, a nice way to, to uh, end the program. And uh, also, sort of, uh, it played into various aspects of what I'm doing right now. I mean, I'm traveling the country, you know, in a car, getting to know this country. My appreciation of what this country is about, you know, having, having the freedom to pursue something as uh, crazy as taking Bach cello suites into these alternative venues. Um, this, this kind of thing is not possible in, in, in many parts of the world, you know, to, to, to actually have the, the freedom to try something like that and to and, and have the sport for it. And for yourself, it sounds as though you've been searching for a long time for, you know, what uh, Matt Heimovitz is going to be all about. Uh, are you finding that now, or is, or is this an endless search? Well, to some extent, it's an endless search, I suppose. But, but I, I think I feel very fortunate that, that I can uh, survive doing what I love and, and uh, you know I always knew that I would be a cellist or that I would be a musician but the fact that that I can live a life like that in today's world as a classical musician that you know I, I feel exceptionally fortunate.